Like this video and subscribe or Hero Brian will get you. Do it right now. Okay, okay, so you put the gunpowder here in a V shape just like that. Put a diamond on the very top. In the middle, you put the TNT, and just like that, you get a creeper spawn egg. Alright, hey, what's up guys? Double A12 here, and welcome back to another awesome Minecraft video for you guys today. So today, guys, I was just wondering, have you guys ever wished that you guys could craft spawn eggs in survival Minecraft? And if you guys don't know what spawn eggs is, well, basically in creative Minecraft, um... There are these eggs where you can literally, you know, use these to spawn mobs in creative mode. Just so you don't have to, like, move them on your own, find them on your own, or anything. You can literally place them wherever you want and, you know, spawn them just like that. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can do that. But right before we get started with today's awesome video, if you guys could do me a favor and drop a like on today's insane video, that'd be absolutely crazy. If you can get maybe, I don't know, maybe 47 likes, I feel like it's a realistic like goal. That would be insane. So go down there and slap that like button down there down below. And if you guys are brand new, do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you guys will never have to miss a brand new video. But anyways, guys, I think it's time that we get started and show you guys how to craft spawn eggs. So over here, guys, as you guys can see, literally every spawn egg in existence, or I think like the majority of the spawn eggs, are here in Minecraft. In all of these chests, I actually have the spawn, like I guess the crafting recipe for each of these spawn eggs. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can spawn every single one of them. So guys, make sure to watch till the end, and I guess it's time that we get started. So uh, yeah, let's do this. So first things first, I need some gear, because we are actually going to spawn these mobs afterwards, just so I can basically prove to you guys that you know these are the spawn eggs so I gave myself literally just some pretty okay gear and just you know get things kind of you know started so I guess the first thing I'm gonna show you guys and since you know this is a pretty important to spawn eggs the first thing I'm gonna show you guys how to craft in Minecraft is the mob spawner <clears throat> so inside the chest guys I have everything prepared and as you guys can see we have diamonds block of iron and dragon eggs in here you guys have to craft them the same way it's shown over here in order to create the monster spawner so as you guys can see we're gonna grab and show you guys that it works we're gonna you know open up the crafting table right there we're gonna place the diamond on top and on the bottom put the dragon egg in the middle and to the left and to the right we're putting the blocks of iron and as you guys can see we have successfully created the monster spawner guys so pretty simple stuff basically just crafting recipe for everything and as you can see it is placeable it is working and all that so that was the first one all right so guys that is pretty awesome now what you guys i guess kind of guess the crafting recipes in your head or you can comment it if you want of what you guys can think you know what items would be able to you know um create these specific um spawn eggs so for this one we're actually um spawning a bat in order to spawn a bat you guys are going to need one diamond and literally two pieces of feather just like that put the diamond in the middle put the feathers on each side and you guys have a bat spawn egg and you guys can literally stack these up just so i can show you guys um let's get like a few of these actually to show you guys you can literally make so many of these and like just completely you know create like a stack of spawn eggs and all that so uh i think that's pretty cool so as you guys can see literally a ton of bats just doing their thing and this spawn egg legitimately works so hopefully you guys can kind of get what's going on and let me know if i guess the um crafting recipe makes sense for these or what you guys would change we'll get like a lot of bats like kind of going around now you know what they're not harmful so we're not going to mess with them guys so all right some pretty simple crafting recipes for the third crafting recipe as you guys can see we have a blaze ready for this you're going to need two diamonds right there one blaze powder and literally two blaze rods so it looks like you literally got to kill a blaze in order to um, spawn a blaze forever but you know whatever so put the diamonds on the top and the bottom just like that blaze rods on both sides and the blaze powder in the middle and three two one you have a blaze. So we're going to spawn this guy a little far away. Maybe spawn him into water so he can get hurt. There we go. Yeah, so we can kill him easily because this thing is a, uh, you know, a pretty, you know, hostile mob. So, guys, again, I think this is just some really awesome stuff. And, you know, yeah. So for this next one over here, we actually have a cat. <clears throat> for this, you actually need just three raw cod just like that and two 
diamonds because it makes sense cats eat you know um cats eat cod and all that and diamonds i guess you know just so you can actually create the spawn eggs so i feel like spawn eggs definitely have to be expensive and all that so there's the cat right there guys so i don't know it might seem expensive but you know you are getting a spawn egg you literally put these like place them wherever you want so i'm just saying it might seem kind of unfair but at the same time i feel like it's there guys so for this next one we have a cave spider one piece of string one spider eye and one diamond guys so in order to make this diamond on the bottom spider eye in the middle and string at the top and you guys can spawn your lovely cave spider even though i don't like cave spiders but we guess place these in here but i kind of don't want to place a spawn egg in there because for maybe a peaceful mob will do it but as you guys can see cave spiders are actually very dangerous deadly mobs so i want to get rid of that thing as soon as possible guys all right so guys i think we're on our uh fifth spawn egg so let's go so for this one guys all you guys simply need to do in order to spawn a chicken is get three feathers one chicken egg which i feel like is kind of i mean i guess you don't have to always throw eggs and you know one diamond and you know with this instead of you know throwing a ton of eggs now you'll be guaranteed a chicken wherever you know you decide to spawn the egg so hey buddy how you doing all right so some stuff and you know what maybe i guess we'll uh, actually no i don't want to put anything to spawn or it might lag out my game because we're gonna be spawning a lot of mobs today all right so for the next one we're actually gonna be doing cod which fish obviously so all you need is literally two bread it's pretty simple to get and one diamond put these little guys on the crafting table just like that put the diamond in the middle and you guys get some cods put him in the uh water just so he's able to swim freely guys so there he is swimming and uh he's about to die well yeah Yep, yep, good, good luck, young friend. Hopefully you're not dead. I mean, he's going to, but you know, yep. So that's how you make a cod spawn egg, ladies and gentlemen, all right? So for our next one over here, we have a cow. All you guys need is one leather and two diamonds, diamonds. And all you guys need to do is put the diamonds on each side over here and put the, uh, I guess, leather in the middle and you guys get your cow. So, uh, hey, buddy. Name this cow in the comment section if you guys you know want to there it is right there so man we have a lot of spawn eggs to go through but the cow is a pretty cool one i guess because you know oh Ooh, guys, 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 this actually looks like a pretty dangerous spawn egg. This is a creeper spawn egg. And I think for this, you guys are going to need one piece of TNT, one diamond, and three pieces of gunpowder, ladies and gentlemen. So you put the, you know, okay, okay. So you put the gunpowder here in a V-shape, just like that. Put a diamond on the very top. And in the middle, you put the TNT. And just like that, you get a creeper spawn egg. And okay, okay, we're going to spawn this guy pretty far away just in case he explodes, guys. Okay, okay. Oh, please don't kill me. There we go. We got him before he exploded. All right. All right I really didn't want a creeper to explode because that seems really dangerous, but it's there. We did it guys. All right All right, so what's this next one? Hmm. Ooh, a dolphin. All right. It's like for a dolphin You're gonna need two raw cod two diamonds and one slime ball All right, so in order to do this all you guys need to do is put the diamonds on the left and the right The cod on the top and the bottom put a slime ball in the middle in order to get a dolphin spawn egg and uh let's put this guy in the water just so you guys can see that it works oh that is really cute punch a dolphin all right you stay in there and hopefully you're not dead by the end of the video guys because the cod died which kind of sucks but now we have food i'm just gonna drop so oh yeah he's not surviving till the end of the video ladies and gentlemen whatever all right all right all right so uh that was a dolphin guys all right so for the next one we have a donkey in order to craft a donkey spawn egg it's like you guys are gonna need one wheat one leather and one diamond in order to you know do that the wheat's on top the diamonds in the bottom and the leathers in the middle and you guys just have a donkey i really don't like donkeys too much to be honest i think they're kind of like useless in minecraft but they're there they're a thing so you guys can make a donkey spawn and i really just want to get over this one because the next one seems a little bit more exciting and this is a drowned for a drowned you need one prismarine shard one raw flesh because you know it is a zombie and one diamond guys in order to you know craft this the prismarine short definitely has to go in the middle with a diamond being on top and a ron flesh in the bottom and you guys get your drown let's put him in this cave where he can't touch me and looks like he's just gonna burn so uh have your fun buddy you're gonna throw a try to me try it try it i dare you i dare you come on come on yeah okay you stay right there and try not to die buddy all right so there's a drowned just like so ladies and gentlemen i think i got the wrong one there we go all right so this next one looks like it's gonna be an elder guardian all you guys will need for this is one sponge 
two diamonds, and a prismarine shard. So you gotta put the prismarine shard at the very top of the diamond, taking the left and right box and putting the sponge in the middle. You get your elder guardian just like so, and... Yeah, we're not messing with you. You're gonna give me mining fatigue, and I just don't want to fight you right now. So, uh, there's your Elder Guardian, guys. All right. For this next one, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty dangerous mob known as the Enderman. In order to spawn, or you know, create the spawn egg for this, you guys are gonna need two diamonds and an Ender Pearl in the middle. And I hear a spider kind of crawling around. Hopefully, it doesn't mess with me. But uh, you gotta put the Ender Pearl in the middle and the diamond on the left or right side, and you guys get the Enderman. I'm pretty sure it's gonna disappear as soon as we. Okay, not only did it disappear, but it took a block. Okay. Alright, Enderman, we're not gonna mess with you. Hopefully you don't mess with me. Let's just get right into the next one. This one is actually the Endermite, and this one's actually pretty cool, because you only need one Ender Pearl and one Diamond, and you guys can literally just create it in your small box over here, because it just needs those two items, so... That's a cool thing, and you guys get a cute little Endermite, so, uh... Yeah... Uh, have your fun, buddy, I guess? Okay, and there's the mining fatigue from the Elder Guardian that's hiding. It looks like we have it for five minutes, but it looks like we're not going to need it too much, so... But okay, whatever. That's the Endermite, just like that, guys. Alright, for this next one, is actually going to be a Ghast. Okay, this is going to be a good one. So you guys are going to need two diamonds and one gas tier, alright? So... You put the diamonds on the left and right box, as well as the gas here being in the middle, and there you go, you guys got a gas, which I really don't want to go out of control and destroy everything. Uh, let's spawn it over here, and hopefully it doesn't destroy much, ladies and gentlemen, because, okay, we are, mining fatigue is kind of bad, but there we go, alright, you guys saw the gas, I'm sorry, I just don't want it to, like, blow up the whole map, and, you know, me being unable to, like, craft literally all the other mobs, guys, so... Yeah, there's the gas, ladies and gentlemen. So this next one over here is going to be the Guardian. It's a normal Guardian. All you guys need is one diamond and two Prismarine shards. So for this one, the Prismarine shards has to like kind of surround the diamond on top and bottom box. And you put the diamond in the middle. You put the Guardian. You get the Guardian spawn egg as a result. And we're going to put you next to the Elder Guardian so you don't mess with me, buddy. So uh, there we go. Have your fun. And I'm not going to touch these guys for the rest of the video. All right. So uh, gas and Guardian right there. This next one is actually going to be a horse, which I think is actually pretty cool, because all you need is two pieces of wheat, two diamonds, and one leather. In order to craft this, the leather has to be at the very center, acting as, you know, the horse's catalyst, and you put the two pieces of wheat and the diamonds surrounding it just like so, and you guys get a horse, so... Yeah, that, that's honestly kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know, that was just my favorite spawn egg, I guess, so... There we go. Let me know what your favorite spawn egg is, I guess, guys, so, uh, yep. So this next one is going to be the husk, which it looks like you guys are going to need a cactus to represent the desert, a diamond on top, and the rotten flesh in the middle. Craft it the same way that it was shown just right there, and you guys get your husk spawn egg. Spawn this little guy down, and we're going to get rid of these guys just so they don't cause too much trouble for the rest of the video, but um... Yeah, guys, that's... Okay, I'm in the wrong boxes. Okay, I'm definitely spoiling a lot of stuff for you guys, but uh, yeah, that's definitely the husk spawn egg right there, guys. Alright, nice stuff. This next one is going to be a llama. In order to craft this, you guys need one piece of wheat, two diamonds, and a black carpet, or, you know, any color carpet, really, on top. All you guys need to do is put the diamonds on the left and right box with the wheat taking place in the middle and any color carpet you want on the top, and you get a llama. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know why you guys would want a llama when horses are better, but whatever. It's there for your guys' you know, bidding, I guess. This next one is actually going to be a magma cube. So obviously for this, you guys are going to need two pieces of magma cream, one magma block, and two diamonds. By the way, all of these will probably require diamonds, guys, so make sure you have a lot of diamonds saved up in order to do this. So you put the diamonds on the left and right box with the magma cream taking the top and bottom box with the magma block taking the center, and you guys get your magma cube. We're going to spawn all the way over here to play with, I guess, the horse and the llama that we spawned in. So, uh, okay, never mind. It wants to fight. Uh... There we go, there we go, and alright, alright, I'm sorry guys, I didn't know it wanted to fight me, but there's your magma cube, I guess, I really don't know what to say. This next one right here is actually a mushroom. All you guys will need is one piece of meat wheat with um, two diamonds taking their places there and a uh, mushroom on the top and the bottom. Uh, for this, I think you will actually need the uh, specific, you know, polka dotted mushroom to be on the top and the bottom with the wheat in the middle. And those two diamonds in the places that you guys can see to spawn this mushroom. So, not too exciting. I really don't like mushrooms too much because I rarely see them. So, whatever. If you guys like it, I'm sorry, but... It's a stare, I don't know guys, not the most useful mob in my opinion, but I guess you get mushrooms too, but... 
you know, whatever. It doesn't matter too much. Alright, so this next one is going to be a panda, which I think are super cute. So you guys need one piece of cake, two bamboos. So make sure you guys find, I guess, a bamboo forest and only one diamond for this one. In order to craft it, you put the diamond all the way in the right uh, middle box with the cake being right next to it in the middle box. And the bamboo be on the top and bottom portions of the cake. And you guys get your panda spawn egg. So... Yeah, if you guys want a panda spawn egg, there we go. So, pretty simple stuff, I guess, you know. So, um, alright, alright. We got a lot of mobs already, but hopefully you guys can keep sticking till the end. And, you know, until you see your favorite mob, hopefully. And, uh, this one is a parrot. All you need is one note block on top to represent the sound. A seed in the middle, and two diamonds. With these two diamonds, you guys got obviously got to put on the left and right middle boxes. With the note block being at the very top middle, and the seed being right under it. And you guys get a parrot. Yeah, you're, you're kind of cute, honestly. I, I think I need seeds to spawn you in. Uh, Pig, what are you doing? <laughs> Alright, you can do your thing, I guess. So, uh, that's how you spawn a pair. Oh, you guys didn't see anything. <laughs> Alright, for this next one is a phantom. You guys need three phantom membranes, so kill a few, um, few of these phantoms, and you guys get two diamonds on the left and right side. Spawn it. In order to create the spawn egg, you put the three uh, phantom membranes in the middle boxes with the diamonds being on the left and right side of the middle boxes. And you guys get to spawn a phantom. So, uh. Enjoy the day, buddy. And I think we just got mining fatigue again. Yeah, that Elder Guardian is gonna be mad annoying, guys. I don't know what is up with that, but, um. Whatever. Alright, this next spawn egg here is actually going to be a pig spawn egg. In order to make a pig spawn egg, you guys need diamonds on the left and right side just like so. A potato being on the top and bottom boxes with the carrot in the middle. Craft it the same way I kind of ordered it in my inventory and all that. And you guys get a little cute little pig. Now you get to walk around with the other pig that was over, here. over there, so go make friends, I guess. So, yeah. Alright, so this next one here is going to be a zombie pigman. Because, you know, pig, pigman. I ordered it that way, I guess, so there we go. For this one, you need one piece of rotten flesh, one gold uh, nugget, and one gold ingot, just like so, and a diamond, just a single diamond. You put the uh, diamond on the middle right box, with the gold ingot being right next to it in the complete middle box. You put a rotten flesh right on top of the diamond, and a gold nugget right underneath it. And there you go, your zombie pigman, guys. Hi. Name that thing if you guys want, I guess, I don't know. Um, it's there, so have your fun. <laughs> this next one is going to be a polar bear. Polar bears actually require two diamonds, just like most of the mobs here, one raw cod, and two blocks of snow. You guys have to put the uh, raw cod at the very middle with the blocks of snow being right on the bottom and the top of the raw cod, and the two diamonds being on the left and right side of the raw cod, and you guys get your polar bear. Uh, so let's let it have fun with the panda. There we go. You two bears have fun, alright? Alright, that's very cool. I'm sorry for the pun, guys. Alright, so this next one here is going to be a puffer fish. If, in order to make the spawn egg, you guys need one diamond, one bread, and one spider eye, which I don't think makes sense. So if you guys think that makes sense, let me know. But all you guys need to do is put the uh, diamond on top, the bread in the middle, and the spider eye in the bottom, and you guys get your puffer fish, which we're just going to spawn here. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> At least this one isn't going to die like the other fishes. This next one is going to be a rabbit spawn egg. All you guys will need is one diamond. One carrot and one rabbit hide. In order to, you know, just just put it the same way I, sh I put it in my inventory, guys. And you guys get a rabbit, basically. So, yeah, have fun, little bunny. <laughs> this next one here is going to be a salmon. For a salmon, you guys need one diamond, one bread, and one seed. And you guys got to craft it the same way. The diamond being at the top, the bread in the middle, and the seed at the bottom of that. And you guys get your salmon. Simple stuff, guys. Simple stuff. Come on. You guys should know this by now. This is basic Minecraft-like crafting, guys. Because this next one is a sheep. So, obviously, you need wool. It doesn't matter what kind. I don't think it affects what color you get either. So, there we go. And you need two diamonds. Put the diamonds on the left and right side, just like so. With the wool being at the very middle. And, yeah. There's a sheep, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I wish... I kind of wish the wool you, like, you know, um, use affects the color of the sheep. But... It just doesn't work that way. It never is that way, guys. So this one is a shulker. What you guys will need for this is two ender pearls, one shulker box, or one shulker shell, my bad, guys, and two diamonds. You guys gotta put the shulker box shell in the middle, the ender pearls being in the top and bottom of it, and the diamonds being on the left and right side, and... Yeah. Alright, you're gonna be annoying, so maybe we should... 
Yep. Okay. That, 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 that's gonna be annoying. That's gonna be annoying, guys. So, what I'm gonna do is literally kill this right away. So, if you can kind of die, that'd be great. Anytime now. Guys, I swear, shulker, shulkers take so long to kill. There we go. Alright, so, uh... So, slash effect, AA12, uh, clear, slash game mode, survival. <coughs> okay, that was really weird, but I'm turning this, we're gonna try and make it straight. Alright, so, this was, uh, shulker right here, alright? This next one is going to be a skeleton. For this, you guys will actually need one, two, three, four, five bones, and two diamonds. So you guys have to put the, uh, bones in. You guys have to put the bones in like an upside down T-shaped formation just like so and the diamonds on the left and right middle sections and you guys get a skeleton. Simple. And now he's gone because I don't want to be shot by a skeleton all video so uh yeah pretty simple stuff guys. Skeleton right there. This next one is going to be a slime. You guys will need three slime balls and two diamonds. You guys put the slimes in the direct middle boxes and the diamonds on the left and right middle boxes. And you guys get a cute little slime. And just the mining fatigue again in this video. And there goes the slime, guys. Alright. So these are just coming and going in this video. It's kind of funny. I like it. And I guess we're almost done. We only have these few more left. So let's get right into it. For spiders, you guys will need one piece of string, two diamonds, and two spider eyes. You guys put the piece of string at the very middle, with the spider eyes being on the top and bottom boxes of that, and uh, diamonds being on the left and right boxes, and you guys get your spider. Have fun. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. So this next one is going to... <coughs> I don't know why I did this, guys. I hate it when I do that. This next, this next one is going to be a squid spider... Okay. This next one is going to be a squid, and you guys will just need two ink sacks and one diamond. You put the ink sacks on the top and bottom middle boxes, with the diamond being at the direct middle, just like that, and you guys get your squid. Have fun, squid. <laughs> I really don't know, and it's just so fun to craft, I guess, you know, uh, spawn eggs. It's so unnatural, but I'm just saying, it's there. So this one is the stray, so you guys will need, you know, um, five bones once again, and two diamonds. And basically, the crafting recipe is very similar to the skeleton crafting recipe, except you guys make a normal key shape just like this, with the diamonds being the same spots as the, you know, skeleton one, and you guys get your stray, just like so. There we go. Alright, now we got to get out of here. And I forgot we had mining fatigue. Wonderful, wonderful stuff, guys. All right. I hate that Elder Guardian we spawned earlier. I kind of wish we spawned it last so we didn't have mining fatigue. But whatever. That's how you guys get your uh, stray spawn egg. This next one is the tropical fish. You guys will need one bread, one coral block can be any type of coral block, and one diamond. Doesn't affect which fish you get, by the way, guys. I wish it did, but it doesn't. So you get the coral block in the middle, bottom like that, the uh, bread in the very middle, and the diamond at the top middle. And you guys get the tropical fish spawn egg, and there. Any type of tropical fish is right there, guys. So, yeah, <laughs> easy stuff. This next one is the sea turtle. What you guys will need is one scoot, so you literally gotta kill a turtle in order to spawn a turtle, so... Equivalent exchange, I guess, and two diamonds, alright? You guys have to put the scoot at the very middle, and... Diamonds on the left and right side. Sea turtle spawn egg. Okay, I was trying to break this to make the whole gravity thing happen, but... Whatever, and we got a baby sea turtle for this one, so... That's pretty cool right there, I guess. So, uh, yeah, there's your sea turtle, guys. This next one is actually going to be a villager spawn egg. For this, you guys will need one block of emerald, one piece of wheat, one empty book, and two diamonds. In order to craft a villager, guys, you guys will have to craft a villager using the two diamonds being on the left middle and right middle boxes, with the wheat being on top, the book being at the very bottom middle, and the block of diamond at the center of all of it, and you guys get your villager spawn egg just like that. Have your fun, villager, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah. So this next one is going to be the, uh, witch. And for the witch, you guys will need one sugar, a potion of healing, a spider eye, and two diamonds. You place the spider eye at the middle bottom layer as with the potion of healing on top and the sugar on top of that. Then you put the, uh, diamonds on the left and right side of the potion of healing to get the witch spawn egg just like so. You stay right there and don't cause any trouble. So, uh, simple stuff, guys. All right, so we got three more spawn eggs to go, and let's finish it off right here, guys. So, for this one is the Wither Skeleton. For this, you guys will need three bones, 
uh, three diamonds and one piece of coal. You put the three bones all covering the top layer with the diamonds all covering the middle layer and the coal being at the very bottom middle. And you guys get a wither skeleton, which is also going to chill right here with the witch. You guys have your fun, make friends, and try not to kill me the rest of the video, okay? The second to last one here will be the wolf. You guys will need three bones, two diamonds, and two pieces of cooked beef. In order to spawn this little guy here, all you guys will need to do is put the bones at the very middle layer with the diamonds being on the left or right side of the middle layer and okay, how did you escape? Hold up, I'm trying to teach them how to do something. I don't know how they escaped, but that was kind of weird. But okay, just like I said, um, diamonds on the left and right side, bones in the middle, and the um, cooked beef on the left and right bottom layer to get a wolf and okay okay we need to finally eat a golden apple i thought we would have to like eat these earlier but i'm thankful we weren't so uh there's the wolf guys i guess and let's tame it uh where are the bones at i know i have bones somewhere uh was that sort of one of the skeleton spawn eggs okay whatever you know whatever you can just oh yeah right here all right there we go easy stuff all right that right back there and okay so guys this will be the final spawn egg i will show you guys how to craft in today's video all you guys will need to do to craft a zombie which you know best for last is one rotten flesh and two diamonds in order to craft a zombie all you guys need to do is put the dime or put the diamonds on the left and right boxes just like so with the rotten flesh in the middle and you guys get to spawn the best mob in the game basically me so yeah Except not on fire, or except it's on fire, so there we go. Alright, alright, alright. So, this was a pretty long video, I'm not gonna lie, but hopefully it covered literally being able to, um, I guess, spawn literally not only a monster spawner, but all of the spawn eggs you see here. So, pretty long, but if you guys want to try it out, do it. You know, all everything will be linked right underneath that like button in the description down below if you guys want to try this. Make sure you have experimental gameplay turn on and all that. But this would be what it would be like if you were able to, I guess, you know, um, craft spawn eggs in Minecraft. They seem like very expensive crafting recipes, but at the same time, you can place them wherever you want, whenever you want, and you know, yeah, it's just uh, instead of having to move specific mobs, you guys can literally place them whenever or wherever. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I wonder if there should be maybe a crafting uh, recipe for maybe the wither or like the iron golem or something. Because I know there are some mobs that don't have them, but there are very few that, you know, don't. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to drop down a like. If you guys are brand new, don't forget to subscribe. And I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Hit those notifications so you guys, I'll see you guys in the next vid. And that'll be it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. And peace. Bye, guys.